today on Mari. Since you were a kid, you've been asking the same question. How'd you do that? Now, get ready for an hour you'll never forget. We've got the secrets behind the world's most amazing magic tricks. First, we have to make you look like a magician. All your favorite illusions, even sawing a lady in half. And we'll show you how the pros really do it. You still there? I'm still here. Now, uh, how many times has everybody here in the audience here in New York and also out there watched the magic show and you always wondered, you know, how'd they do that? Well, today, we're going to find out the secrets behind some of the world's most incredible magic tricks. Now, if you at home don't want to know how this stuff is done, turn away from your set now. Don't turn your set off. We need every viewer we can, but just turn away, okay? So please welcome to the show the most controversial man in the world of magic. He's the author of All the Secrets of Magic Revealed and a new CD-ROM called More Magic Secrets. Please welcome everybody, Herbert Becker. Herbert. Okay. Nice to see you. Now, Herbert, uh, why, why don't we start off, first of all, with a trick? And it's a trick that uh, I guess every magician usually does, and it, and it ones that it, it's, a, it's a trick that astonishes audiences, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now, basically, magic principles, no matter what tricks you do, are the same principles. So the tricks we're going to show you today may not be the same things you've seen before in, in the size or dimension, but it's the same tricks. Now, for the first trick, I'm going to need someone who has um, great courage, who can step forward and be part of this trick. Me? Absolutely. Thank oh, you for well, I'm the last person to, <laughs> to answer that call. Have a seat. Okay. Have okay. a seat. Okay, I'm sitting right here. I'm going to slide this chair right in. Slide it right, right in. Right in. Put your chin right up inside there. You comfortable? Yeah. You are? Yeah. That's a strange place to be comfortable. Right. You put this I in here like All this. the way in, right? All the way in, and I'll be very... I have a very big nose, Herbert. Do you? I'll, I'll be very careful. Don't worry. Oh, no. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're okay in there? Y yeah. I'll take us back out again. Oh my God. I need Tony to come out here and give me a hand with this. Tony? Let's just close this down like this. You okay? You still there? Yes. Okay. Now he's gone. It's my show. We can do anything we want. No. Here we go. <laughs> you still there? I'm still here. Okay. Okay. Tony, come on up here. Grab some, grab some of the daggers, Tony. Bring them on up here. This is obviously a dagger box. We're going to put some daggers into the box. Uh, move your nose back. You okay in there? Yeah. You feel good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Go ahead. Stick him in. Careful, careful. Nice. This won't hurt a bit. And there's more. Let's don't stop now. How are you feeling? Uh... It's funny how some go in easier than others. Uh, can you, like, take a deep breath? <sighs> Thank you. Okay, you know what? I think we've done enough. Now, obviously, the object behind this now is to show that he's okay. So let's show that he is okay. Now, typically, in a magic show, that's where it ends. You see the head's gone. You see that the trick is done. And the magician leaves you hanging. But today, we're going to do something very special. Take that. Say hello. Hello. So now we want to know, how'd you do that? Okay. We need someone from the audience to come up here. Okay. We have a guy uh, about, my, about my height, I guess. Okay. Because come on we down. Have, come on down here. 
Oh boy, can I promise you a few things? <laughs> How Come are you? Up. What's Come your on. name? Hi, Tom. Tom How are Tom. you? You're about the same size, Tom? Sh yeah, about the same. Okay, so okay. the problem is if he's too short, then to... you have to. Mess no, the blame, I cut him. Oh, okay. Have a seat. <laughs> but we're going to find out exactly how we do this. Okay, slide your neck inside there. How do you feel? How does that feel? Okay, we're going to make this a little bit higher for you. Tony, grab me a few of those knives, please. Slide her inside. Slide it in there. Now, we're going to show you how the trick is done. We're going to show you exactly what happens when this trick happens. Slide your head a little bit forward. I don't want to hurt the back of your head. Up to now, it's pretty obvious. He's inside there. You see him. The box is not that large. We put this in the front, and he's gone. Now, sometimes the, mag the magic can stop right there. He's gone. You open back up, he's still there. Now, this is the magic part. You ready? You still there? Yeah. Didn't that cell phone used to have a little yeah. to -to topo jijo? Now lean your head back. Do you head lean, lean, lean back? Mm -hmm. You see that thing coming in on you? Yeah. Sometimes that gets caught on your nose. You know what I'm talking about. You'll see in a second. I put one knife in the front like this. Now, that's basically the trick. It's done. What have we done? You're going to like this. You haven't seen this yet, have no. you? So that's what you see. Hold on to that. So what are you looking at? Well, look at something, because what you have right there. Mirrors. It looks like you have all these swords. Now look at that. Here. And that's how it's done. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Wasn't too bad. Thank you very much. You. Good to see you. Now, uh, the classic trick of most magicians is a levitation trick. It, they kind of take their assistants, you know, and make them float. That's right. And you're going to tell us how they do that. I brought with me a very special illusion. It's called the Ashra levitation. Okay. It's done by everyone. <coughs> you want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Come on over here. Just come over here. <coughs> Stand on my left, okay. because I'm going to let you in on the... You're going to see the trick happening, but if you watch the teleprompter, you'll see it differently. Mm -hmm. Now, normally, I bring along with me my special assistant. <laughs> uh, now we have Barbie. Now we have Barbie. <laughs> so this is just a miniature of what you see yeah. on every big That's magic right. show. This is exact... If you go to David Copperfield's show, if you go to any of the big shows, you're going to see this exact By the illusion. way, he doesn't like you, does he? David? Yes. Oh, he must like me. He always he sends me things. Like this he does not like He sends me things no, all the time. Yes, I just, very I just got a big lawsuit from him. He oh, sent okay, it to okay, me. Okay. He sends me things. All right. Okay. So the idea is to cover her. She floats up in the air. When she gets way up there in the rafters, I bring her back down again, and she's back. Very simple. You've seen this before, right? Okay. Now, you can see how it's done, so don't say anything. Okay. Okay, take it like this. Ready? You cover her up. You pick her up like this. Watch. You ready? The neat part. Here it goes. The shaking is part of the trick. When you get to this part here, you go like this, and she's gone. I know what he did. You like I, that, huh? I know what you did, and now you're going to show everybody. That's right. Now we're going to show everyone. So what do we do? Watch. Trap door. Now, the question is, why don't you see the trap door? You see, they put this here like this. And you'll see this on every magic show, every magic table. They put this like this to make it look as if it's thin. But see, really, it's, it's very thick. And that opening is, is very large. Now, this is exactly what you'll see at any magic show. So as he puts the cover over the doll, you're at the same time releasing yeah. the, tra the trap right. door. And how did you see her floating inside here? There's a metal frame. There's a little handle. So I, I just lift the handle. You think you see her going up. It's just a handle. Now, when they do this in the big shows, I mean, she goes way up in the air. Well, he has a larger cloth. She just goes further up there. Right. That's the trick. The whole idea is the trick happened already. It's done. Now, when they go up to the, to, to the uh, rafters. They have a wire attached to it. And it's just pulled up. Pulled up. OK. All right, You're now. so busy focusing on this, you don't see the girl go. OK. Now, uh, then there's the dollhouse trick. Uh, yes. I, I don't know if we, it, 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 this is very interesting. We're going to build a dollhouse. Is that what we're going to do? Right. Okay, Anthony. Anthony Frere, one of my producers, of course, is now. All right, we got, let's get the top up. He's volunteered for all of this. Okay. I will give you a hand with this, Anthony. Okay, Anthony. Take care of all this, will you? 
Anthony, I love your vest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the magic you're going to see now is once again typical of what all magicians do. The idea is to assemble something. You're looking at him, you're watching him, but pay attention to what you're looking at. He's making you look at something that's distracting you from what he really wants you to see. I'm talking to distract you from watching him. That's part of the misdirection. Misdirection is what magic is all about. Magic is not an ability to actually perform something to fool you. It's to keep you off balance. It's to keep you off guard. We don't tell you what the end result is going to be. If I told you I was going to make his head disappear in the dagger box, well, that wouldn't surprise you. It would make the staff happy. <laughs> Uh, that, wouldn't surprise, that wouldn't surprise you, though. Herbert, are you saying that all magic is a trick? All magic is a trick. All magic is a trick. The box is assembled. He's assembled a box in front of you. You don't know why he's done it, but he's done it. I'll tell you why he's done it. We go like this. <laughs> and how about that? <laughs> now the question becomes, they do that. The secret behind this incredible trick and more with Herbert Becker when we come back after this. Before our show began, Herbert treated our audience to one of the classic illusions, the old saw the girl in half trick. Do I get to close her? Yeah, you get to close her. Ooh. All right, you ready? First place. Don't be scared. I've done this before. Now's a good time to cut to a commercial, I think. <laughs> This one's usually a little bit easier than the first one. Uh, What's the problem? Uh, give, her, give, give her head a pull. Just give her head a pull. Thank you. Stay tuned for Herbert's explanation of how it's done. 